Uh, Britain's newest political party, Change UK, is going through another identity crisis. Of the 11 Labour and Tory MPs who quit their parties to form the independent group and then Change UK, about half of them have decided to chuck chuck. Um, Gary Gibbon is with me to explain what's happened. Well, this was a party obviously partly formed in order to uh, remain in the EU, but also to escape, as it was sold to us, the split-strewn brutality of the two uh, main parties and, and come up with something a sort of kinder, gentler uh, centrism. Well, it didn't feel like that today. Here's a picture of them in happier times, the 11 MPs. You can see them here now, and you can see how they've now been uh, reduced to five. But all of 11 of them went into a room today to basically have it out. This round had been bubbling up for a while, and what they were arguing about was who would actually harm their chances in the European Parliament elections. They only got 3% and they produced an internal party report that blamed it on some of the MPs who'd been talking down the party's hopes uh, during that actual campaign and they felt it contributed by talking about whether certain MEP candidates should stand down in certain places, all the rest of it, they'd contributed to the pretty dismal rating that the party managed to have. Now, six of them are going off uh, to form uh, an independent group again, to be independent. Including the leader. Uh, 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 the leader that was, that's right. And there's great speculation amongst those people who are staying in Change UK. Well, have they done some kind of cosy deal with the Libs? The Lib, the Lib Dems, by the way, were being Stop talked of by people who kicked off this uh, whole party as something that they would gobble up quite soon. Now they're wondering whether it will gobble up uh, those people who've gone back to independent status. But the independent MPs themselves are talking about something slightly different. They think by moving to this status, they have a, a better chance, perhaps, of levering out other defectors from the two main parties in the future. So let's say there's a Tory leader that some uh, Tories don't like, or Labour's splits get even more acrimonious during the summer maybe some people would find it easier to defect to a group of independents rather than a formed party which they are late to join and which they might feel has already sort of shaped itself without them. But whatever happens, a party that has managed to split within four months of being formed has found itself a place in the British political history books, probably for all the wrong reasons. And Heidi Allen, um, sorry about the noises off, um, Heidi Allen's gone. The new leader is Anna Subri, the former Conservative MP, and she is with Cathy now. Cathy. Thank you, Chris. Well, Anna Subri joins me now. Uh, well, you couldn't agree on the logo, you couldn't agree on the name, you couldn't agree on the leader. I think we did, actually. Now you've fallen we? apart. I mean, what went right? No, everything's... Um, look, I'm not going to make out that I'm not hugely disappointed that six people for whom I have a great deal of respect um, if nothing else, because they had the courage to walk away from their political parties, have decided to leave our new party. But we carry on. And, you know, to be honest with you, Cathy, I think what is now needed, right across the political spectrum, and it isn't the acceptance that our politics is broken, is for, frankly, for people to stand up for what they believe in, roll up their sleeves, as I have put it, and put courage into this, because our country is crying out for leadership, it's crying out for certainty, and it's crying out that we don't just get on and sort out Brexit, but all the other big problems that we have in okay, our country. But if politics is broken, so also is Change UK, isn't it? I don't it? agree with you. There are five of us. These are, we're five experienced politicians. We have got 100,000 100, supporters. Uh, we found 69 first-class 69 first class candidates. An, an astonishing achievement, in my opinion. Um, people I'm really proud of. People who have served at the highest levels of government, people like Stephen Dorrell, by way of example. Um, John Owen Jones in Cardiff, a former Labour minister. We've had former Lib Dem MEPs. And in addition to that, people who've never been involved in politics from all walks of life. At the end of the day... Real ability, and that's the big strength of what we are building and creating. And we will move forward. So what went we wrong? I mean, was it, was it too many egos in the room at the end of the day? No, I don't think so. Look, I think it's... Look, it's tough in politics at the moment. I mean, I have just sat with some dear former Conservative colleagues talking about what's happening in the Conservative Party, where they've changed and fixed the rules, effectively to deny debate. So you now have to have, what, eight people to nominate you. It's going to be really difficult for eight people to be so brave as to come forward and nominate somebody like Sam Gima, 
who's a hugely talented man, but because he believes in a people's vote, anybody who publicly comes out and supports him will find themselves faced, like Philip Lee, with deselection, like Dominic Grief, with deselection. Look at what's yep. going on in the Tory party. <laughs> Look at what's going on in the Labour party. But what about Jeremy what went Corbyn on in your party? The was it, communists was it, God, was it about us. your ego at the end of the day? Me? Some of your colleagues say. No, I don't have an ego, I can quite assure you. Mm. Especially not at the age that I am, I can assure you of that. It's about putting your country first, it's about being courageous, and it's about being tack uh, standing up and tackling the big issues that this country face. But if you wanted to put your country Brexit first and others. You want a second referendum, why Certainly. don't you just join the Lib Dems? Oh, because I am more of a social democrat than a liberal democrat. Of course I work with the Lib Dems. It's a huge myth that, that somehow has erupted that I don't people like me don't work with the Lib Dems. I've worked in government with the Liberal Democrats. I hugely respect people like Ed Davey and Joe Swinson and Vince Cable, but we have our differences. But of course what unites us is our view on Brexit, and this has always been like that, and we've always worked with them. There's been a lot of nonsense talk. There was never any talk of an electoral pact. It was agreed that it couldn't be done in any event. So, you know, setting the record straight about that, if some of my former colleagues want to go and join the Lib Dems, you know, good luck to them. But if I'd wanted to join the Lib Dems, I would have joined the Lib Dems. I want to and believe in something new. I believe that British politics is broken, we need to change it, we've got to do things in a different way, and we've got to get back into that centre ground, that moderable, progressive, sensible centre ground, which I think millions of people in this country are crying out for. They have, they feel nobody to represent them, and okay. I think Change UK can do that. I believe we can do it. Okay. I hope they'll join us now. We really build this party. We will have a membership. Yeah. We will develop our policies, and I think when people really see okay. all the other things we believe in, I think they'll come and join us and support us. Anna Subri, thank you very much for joining us.